Nine dead, 67 overdoses. The city of Austin is dealing with its biggest opioid overdose spike in more than a decade. The crisis prompted concern all along the I-35 corridor. Fox SA Stephanie Esquivel spoke to San Antonio health officials, school districts and universities to see what we're doing here to prevent a similar spike. A batch of deadly drugs prompting fear from Austin to New Braunfels and now in San Antonio. We always say it's better to be safe than sorry. Senior Director of Be Well Texas Dr. Tara Carnes Wright says the overdoses in Austin can likely be linked to a batch of drugs, most likely fentanyl, disguised as other drugs. What this means is that if someone were to take the same amount of fentanyl as if they were, if they thought it was heroin, they're much more likely to overdose. According to Dr. Tara Carnes Wright, there has not been a significant spike in opioid overdoses in San Antonio yet, but they're keeping a close eye after what was unleashed in Austin. She says staying prepared is key with the opioid reversing drug Narcan. It's always great to have it on hand, even if you're not sure if you're likely if you're likely to work with folks who have are likely to suffer from an overdose. I reached out to several school districts in San Antonio. A spokesperson for the Northeast Independent School District tells us the district has not seen increased overdoses and all campuses are equipped with Narcan. I also reached out to all major universities. One of them, the University of the Incarnate Word, sent us a statement that reads, The University of the Incarnate Word makes student safety a high priority. As such, the university has for years now maintained 17 easily accessible and strategically placed stations on the Broadway campus with Narcan. In addition, in keeping with best practices, all resident assistants in the dormitories and select personnel are trained to administer the drug. Trinity University also got back to me. The school let me know it's rolling out a program to distribute Narcan and educate students and staff on how to use it. In the newsroom, Stephanie Esquivel for Fox SA.